Hello and welcome. This is a review of the Aten 8586 2-in-1 SMD solder and rework station. Oh my god, this one on eBay. Thought I'd do a quick review and tear down of it for you guys. Uh, comes with the little blower. This one has the blower inside of the handle here for SMD work. Comes with three different tips. A holder. This one also has a, a built-in soldering station here. Um, it's got a fairly nice uh, seven pin unit and uh, this uses like the uh, Heiko style tips um, with the heater element in there. Uh, also comes with a fairly decent stand. Uh, I saw a, a review on one of these that, that said it didn't fit in there very well. This one seems to fit okay. I don't know if they've you know, it kind of adjusted the, the, the setup of it, but it seems to, I guess, fit okay. Um, I, I don't remember. It says 907 and ESD safe on it. Um, inside of the unit here is just kind of uh, very typical. This is a 110 unit. It has a transformer down inside there. Let's zoom in for you. Uh, has a transformer in there. Uh, the IEC mains connector in the back there. I'm not sure if you can make that out. It's actually uh, got some white, looks like blue on it to help hold it in place. Let's see if we can get a little better shot. Um, uh, handle here. And we'll look at this board. Uh, it has a PIC uh, series microcontroller on it. zoom out a little bit there and it is a PIC 16F916 uh, dip style microcontroller um, kind of fairly simple through hole components um, these sometimes are bad they tend to rattle off I don't know why they didn't put these on heat sinks there but uh, you can see that's on the heat sink um, it does have a calibration pot uh, down inside there with a little hole for calibration um, and it has dual switches which is very nice so I can turn on just the rework station um, and don't have to turn on the solder or a digital control um, I have used this I kind of put off buying one of these and I had a laptop that had a fuse that blew on it for uh, a SMD component and uh, use this to heat it up and a pair of tweezers and I was able to pull that fuse off and that fuse was actually for the uh, LCD driver um, it's very small and compact uh, here's the back of the unit um, uh, looks like it's a 10 amp fuse uh, IEC connector on off the only thing I don't like I don't really like that switch in the back um, this switch in the back turns the whole unit on and then you still have to flip these on it seems kind of like why um, but uh, I don't understand it but these don't turn the whole unit off it's very odd you still have to use flip this one and uh, you know on my bench here um, you know I'm like most people have limited space I you know tend to stick it uh, back in the hole there and it's just weird getting my hand hand back there. I don't really like that um, as you can see, I have my uh, Radio Shack uh, soldering station there. I really do like that one, and it's exactly the same almost as this tip. That's a five hole, and this is a seven hole, though, um, as you can see. But uh, and then also have my a ten uh, uh, power supply, which has been great. Uh, you know, for the money, I just I can't can't complain enough. To say anything bad about them. Um, you know, I, I guess they all have the original 10 fan was real noisy, put a choir fan on that. And then I guess the bad part to this is that, that few switch on the back. It doesn't really make much sense why. Here's the unit on it. And like I said, it's odd. The, the switch on the ba in the back is on. And we'll just go ahead and turn it off. And that turns the display off. And then turn it on, and, and that's what you get. And I don't understand why. It says rework, but as you can tell from the bottom, the rework is off. So if I go ahead and, and flip the rework power, you get this SLP mode, which stands for sleep. Um, there is a magnetic switch in, in the handle here that when it's in this, it, it turns it off. And so uh, let's turn this to four and a half. And so if I pick it up, as you can see, it'll 
it'll run is how loud it is and then it it blows the hot air and if I stick it back in there and it's not going to work for me now I stick it in there it it will the temperature will start going down and then once it gets down to around 100 degrees it'll actually shut off and then it'll go back into that sleep mode and one thing I haven't tried is I haven't tried them both on and see what happens then I don't know let me go ahead and uh, plug this in That's the fan all the way up. See how loud that is. So, let's see what happens if I turn the solder on. Hmm, very interesting. So, let's see what this solder is set at 370 degrees. So that that so I guess the solder wins overall. It's very interesting. Let's see what happens if I turn the solder back off and it goes back to the rework.